Here with even more on upcoming new models is Lisa Barrow and all the latest motor news. Chrysler's new compact JA sedan twins drew admiring glances at last January's Detroit Auto Show. Well, now we can say they are a pleasure to drive as well. We recently tried both the Dodge Stratus and Chrysler Cirrus on roads around Chrysler's tech center in Auburn Hills, Michigan. First impressions are that Cirrus and Stratus provide a very airy driving experience with excellent visibility and few blind spots. Acceleration ranges from adequate for the 2.0-liter 4 and a 5-speed manual borrowed from the Neon to good for both the 2.4-liter 4 and a Mitsubishi-supplied 2.5-liter V6. A 4-speed automatic is the only transmission for both these engines, and we'd like to see more work done on smoothing out shifts. Cirrus will be on sale first this fall and will use only the V6. Stratus follows early next year with all three multi-valve engines. Long wheel travel makes for excellent JA ride quality. The multi-link suspension also handles roll very well, and the firmest touring setup is crisp and well controlled on frost heaved pavement. Brakes are disc drums, even with anti-lock, and nose dive is minimal on hard stops. Inside, both JAs share the same sporty dash with large, well-placed gauges and controls. With the exception of the base seat, which seems short on thigh support, we found the interior comfortable for a growing family of five. The rear seat is one piece and folds down for access to a surprisingly big trunk. Chrysler is aiming Cirrus and Stratus squarely at imports such as Accord and Altima, as well as Ford's new Contour and Mystique. They should be very competitive in features. Prices will be competitive too, between $14,000 and $19,000. Also in the news is Nissan's revival of its 200SX nameplate, last used in 1988 on a rear-drive coupe. Appearing in early 1995 will be this new 200SX, a front-wheel drive coupe based on the next-generation Nissan Sentra due this fall. It replaces the NX2000 discontinued last year. The new 200SX will be built in Nissan's Smyrna, Tennessee plant, along with pickups, Altimas, and the new Sentras. 1.6 and 2-liter four-cylinder engines will provide 200SX power. Nissan expects to sell about 40,200 SXs annually, and prices should be about the same as Toyota's Paseo and Mazda's MX-3, which is roughly $13,000 to $16,000. And that's it for this week's Motor News.